Want to take notes like a pro? In the next few minutes, I'll show you three powerful OneNote tricks that will make your note-taking faster, smarter, and way more organized. Ready to level up? Okay, tips number one. Now, number one, I'll show you the fast, quick keyboard shortcut keys that usually I use the most. Simple one is like you can just type something like this, right? And that uh, you want to like uh, use a lot of uh, bullet, right? You can click it over here, or you can just come over here and control and uh, full stop, right? Go to Z, or you can type everything, and then you can either click here or you can control full stop here. Or another one is control slash, where you can number it. Okay, this is a for bullet list or number list. So this is a, the quick key that usually I use the most. Now, other than that, you can look at your tag here. So these are the tags. Just go to the home and then go to the tag and you can see what are the tags that commonly you use. Yeah. Now, this one already customized to my own needs. Yeah. If not, usually if you have like control one, let's say I would come over here and say task one. You put control one, normally you will get a task. Yeah. Something like this. Mine is control four. You can get a task where you can tick. Yeah. So this is a quick key. Now, if you use this, right? Look at the things that you use the most and then sort it, right? Just go to customize packs here. And then you can click here up and down to just sort it. Okay. So, for me, I use the most is uh, for planning, in progress, done. So this is my top three, right? Control one, two, or control three. And then if I extra task is control four. And other than that, here are the rest. Yeah. So sort it out and then so that you can have the quickie, yeah, that you can use at your command of your keyboard. All right. Now, second tips is how do you open more OneNote windows? Sometimes you want to open more than one OneNote window so that you can refer to it, right? So if I have the notes here, I want another screen to show other subject, right? Then how do I open it? You see, you can go view and there's no windows to open and, and so on, even file, yeah? Okay, not this one. The new is going to open a new notebook, right? So. I'm going to show you, these are very used because I use it almost every day. Most of my notes are here and some of that I need to refer to it on my other screen. Okay, now you can see my desktop. So if you want to open more than one OneNote windows, just go to the icons, right? So right over here, the icons and then right click it. Okay, so over here, then you can see OneNote. Just click that you open another windows. So now you can see there are actually two windows. You see, now the two windows, you can uh, open the files separately. You can see here. Yeah, here will stick same. And then you want, you can just organize yeah, into the grid and then you can copy whatever or you can refer to the page right over here and then type it right over here. Okay, so this is how you open the, the windows, right? If you want more than that, just open another one. Okay, so now you got the three, right? You can see that, right? So just click it and then you can change it. So each of the pages can be actually open different pages. Okay, the last tips, all right, is very useful. Let's say you want to do a performance appraisal, okay? And now you have like uh, five people that you need to do appraisal, okay? Or you need to track their performance. So right over here, what I can do is that I just need to highlight this and then right click. And then I put link to pages. Now I have not created any pages right over here, but I just need to type the name here and then link to pages. It'll automatically create all the names, right? Each one is one page. And then I can start tracking like John performance, right? In this page and Mary and, and so on. 
Of course, you can come up with the templates and right over here to track. But uh, this is just to show you that you can create a link to pages straight directly from here. And then over here, you can see if I click Sheila, it will jump to Sheila. This is like your table of contents or your index page, right? Now, of course, you can bring it right over here. And then what you can do is just highlight all these five pages. And then over here, make sub page. It'll become sub page under this performance appraisal. And then you can just close it, right? If one, I can click on here, it will go to Mary. Oh, I want to have June. You can do that as well. Now, this is not just for a performance appraisal. You can use it for many other purposes, like different projects. So this is kind of like a performance appraisal. This is kind of like your index page or a dashboard. Okay. Now, I hope these three tips would help you have interest and then uh, you can take notes, right? Like an expert, okay? And speed up your work. Now, do share this with your friends and colleagues if you find this useful and uh, leave a comment what else is an issue for you, especially during notes takings, okay? Put in a comment there. I'll create a separate video to address your issues. Now, if you like this type of video, do subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell so that every week when we publish new content, you'll be notified. And this is Andrew. I'll see you real soon in my next video.